Good morning. We're so happy you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. How do you beat your post-birthday long weekend blues? You eat leftover dips and watch some Disney movies. pick up some of our favorite Christmassy holiday beverages. Um, also to get fresh air because I had a really great morning and nap, nap time just set back like my light. Um, and we're feeling good about nap time. We have a plan. I We are confident that this is a sleep regression with Jamesy. Um, but last night seemed good and we just know that eventually nap time will mirror bedtime again. We have a bunch of tools in place. I won't go into that here um, just because it's kind of like changing and tweaking but also just like keeping the peace and we are um, on a like wake up, eat, play, sleep schedule. Not really a schedule. Um, with Teddy, we feel good, but that doesn't mean that a process, um, doesn't automatically just like set things straight and every day is different. Um, so that's where I'm at. I need a little pick me up, but also we're going to be decorating for Christmas tonight. So we need the proper beverages to do so. Should I go with the almond milk holiday now? or the real deal. I haven't seen the real deal yet, so let's see. But I do have the overbuys chocolate milk. Interesting. Southern Comfort. It says it's not alcoholic. I'm gonna try that one. It is 70 degrees out. What are we doing being inside? We might need to reevaluate the like the plan of events for today. This is glorious. This is it. I made the announcement. James's birthday is over. We're Christmas fine this joint. You can have the balloon still. Teddy's ready for it, right Teddy? Teddy? You want the Christmas time? Teddy, first Christmas. This is about to become the hallway of Festivus. We're gonna take all the bins out, all the Thanksgiving, all the Halloween, all the Christmas. They're gonna align it, open it, because Halloween is going away. Thanksgiving's coming out, Christmas is coming out. If you don't like it, unsubscribe, never watch a vlog ever again. This is who we are. Oh! <laughs> oh yeah, baby. I'm mean, here to say, we're writing a petition to have Christmas year round. Year round. <laughs> that would be fine. <laughs> Get up here and help me, James. All right, we got Grinch on. This makes my heart warm. Sarah's editing the vlog. Oh, James, that's just for the dry race board side. Uh oh. Here's my uh, Christmas chalk. That's for the other side, baby. James may have forgotten that we also have seasonal toys. Yeah, Christmas tree. It's beginning. Boom. Boom. That doesn't open, I'm sorry. Should we watch Elf after the Grinch? It is truly the greatest time of the year. I also did change into my Bailey Brothers shirt. But, oh, you can kind of see him. He has arrived. He is ready to welcome you all to the time of the year. It is better than the food and wine. Food and wine, everybody loves food and wine. When? Creepy Santa comes to town. Creepy Santa is out for the year. And I think, let us know in the comments down below. Should we keep Creepy Santa out all year round to warm our hearts? Every day, 365, sometimes 366? I think so. 
also a benefit of having a daily vlog is when your wife, who's the creative director of our lives, the one who's in the main decorative eye, I mean, like, I do have um, opinions, but she's the, she's the really leader of the gang. Where are we going, James? I can look back at last year's vlogs and like, see when we showed you guys decorations and be like, oh, that was here. This was here. At least that's what we did last year. Maybe we'll change it, maybe we won't. I feel like this scene, this clip I just shot, was just pure chaos. Noises everywhere, different kinds of noise. I got music here, I got movies there, candles on candles. If it was a smell gram you would smell it all, you would hear me all. James making noise. James's room is kinda chaos right now because the boys' room is the storage unit. Next Christmas movie of the night, Polar Express. We have some more decorations up. I forget if I show these already. I know I show Creepy Santa. But we got these up as well. I have to be strategic about not making too much of a mess because we need to do some cleaning in between and also Teddy snoozing and kids everywhere. Tom Hanks fills my soul with joy. So I guess something as life is always changing, we will have to do with the game mobile older child with Christmas decorations this year because I had that set for 53 days. And he was like, ooh. And now he's uh, figuring it out. You can play with that, just gotta be gentle. Yeah, you can. Good job. Yeah, it's a bit of a tight squeeze, but we moved the rocking chair into our bedroom to see if it'll help us with like middle of the night wakings with Teddy. We're gonna spell I think James is up. loving it so far, even though he didn't really do this even in his own room. It's Christmas time. <laughs> Welcome back out for the season, Gerard. Going right where Rupert was. Way. We find it all on Christmas Day. So I sound like Josh Groban. You do. I'm ready for you to be done editing the vlog so you can come back with us. Guess what? It's export. Great. And it's a Halloween vlog, so it doesn't even feel right. How was it? Really good. All right. Duvet, duvet cover sheets, all pillowcases, all switched out for the holiday season. I feel like this is always like running a marathon, switching on duvet cover, and it sounds dramatic, but it's just my opinion. What are you doing on this? Huh? This Christmas bed? For my teddy? Hi, for my teddy. Oh. Um, nom, nom, nom. The boys are asleep, we have the holiday on, um, and we realized that we never hung up our stockings last year. They just were like draped over the couch. Um, and now Teddy needs one, so I am ordering one that goes with the vibe um, from Target. This is Evie's. Um, but I gotta see, I gotta order something else because I'm, I don't want to pay $6 for shipping. Um, but I think I'm gonna order him. I think I'm gonna order Teddy some clothes for Florida because I was just like thinking of, you know, him and James are like opposite as far as like what time of the year they were born. Um, we are gonna get his six month clothes bin um, from storage this weekend, hopefully, because I'm curious, like, if we have some more summery clothes because it's gonna be warm in Florida um, in this size because like I said they're opposite and so actually Florida's opposite from how it is here so we should but I'm still gonna probably order him at least one more new thing just so I don't have to pay for shipping um, and now we can resume Christmas decorating all right it's late but we're gonna celebrate the beginning of our Christmas decorations with an eggnog chocolate milk 50-50. Look at that. It's very rich, but it is to me like Mrs. Ryan and the Christmas holiday season in a cup. Good afternoon. We're so happy that you're here. We daily vlog. This is a two-parter. Oh, but still, if you like this video, come back every day. 
James Z just had his two-year-old wellness appointment and it went really great with the exception of having to be poked and being sad about it so he might not he, he's still kind of not so happy but we always go to McDonald's after an appointment like this for a pick-me-up so headed back home and maybe we'll, maybe we'll take a little snooze off to my annual physical which is the first one I'm having since like 2007 so you should definitely do as I say not as I do and say get your annual physical but this is why we're turning over a new leaf now all right we're all done there it's quick and easy they think everything looks fine it was an annual physical they got some blood work drawn which is cool because I haven't had that in a very long time they gave me a referral for a sleep study they think that that would be good because I'm I still have sleep issues that my sleep study in winter park florida I came back and i was like yeah hey, you're fine and i was like i don't feel fine and she's like all we can do is do another sleep study and hope that whatever is causing you to have not good sleep presents itself during the study and i was like yeah time to go home kids are up from naps we're just playing waiting for dad to come home everybody knows that after a day of appointments i am toast <laughs> um they just are heavy on me and so the rest of the day we're just gonna be chill um and peter may or may not be stopping at mcdonald's again because he had a fast because he had blood work done um so now he'll get his little treat and he might be bringing me home something sweet this is the faces of two kids that had good naps today yeah Teddy nap thrice. Teddy nap thrice, but I have unfortunate news. This is what our life looks like at five o'clock now in Chicago, and as of Saturday, this is what our life's gonna look like at four o'clock. Is that right? Fall back. So we move back an hour? I don't know, either way, it's getting dark very early these days. Sarah has worse bad news. I was supposed to meet Jonathan Van Ness tonight. Today was the day that of his show in Chicago and I was gonna go to his main green. And we're experiencing serious FOMO for Run like Disney. quadruple. Wine Dine weekend is this weekend, so today was the expo, like we would've been at the expo today. And Fantasmic is opening tonight to the public. So we're kind of having a... So all of those things, like when we weren't gonna be able to be in Florida right now, it's like at least, like the only thing I would miss those things for is meeting, meet a thing, meeting Jonathan Van Instead, I went to the doctor. And then it got canceled. They, well, I hear, ho aren't holiday drinks back at Starbucks? Yeah. We should maybe go on a family walk. Oh gosh, James just gave Teddy the Grinch. And James has also been like extra sweet with his little brother lately. It's been very nice. I also don't think we addressed the big bluey in the room. This arrived in a package yesterday from one of my friends. It was a birthday present uh, to James, so kind of ridiculous, but also James loves it. What are you doing? Oh, you need some lovins. Oh, you need lovins. Uh, uh. Oh, she's sleepy. She needs a nap. Okay, I am just going to link the recipe for tonight's dinner in the description. I am making Korean pancakes plant-based um, basically it's just a whole bunch of yummy veggies with cornstarch and flour and water to mix like the pancake base and then they're savory so gonna dip them in a soy sauce something or other I'm gonna whip up however I started dinner a little bit later than usual so I just don't have uh, the same amount of time I swear this might be the um, I don't know, the motto for the rest of our life as parents. Um, but certainly for the season of life right now, it just feels like I'm grasping at the minutes of the day that all of a sudden it's bedtime and it's just like, where has the time gone? Um, so making quick peanut noodles, That the Korean pancakes were actually pretty easy to just chop up and I used a bag of coleslaw instead of doing cabbage and carrots, like cutting them up myself. Um, it's the first time I'm ever making these, so hopefully, hopefully it turns out good. Here is our dinner. The pancakes did not turn out Instagram worthy. I need to figure out how to make them crunchier. I actually didn't make all that I, like, 
mix together to try another night because we just needed to eat. Tomorrow's Friday. It's good to be home. Let's get to Friday. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.